Yes? Can you help me? Right now? Yes. That was a dramatization, yes, but it actually happened a few weeks ago where I left out my eggs on the counter by mistake. At which point I wondered, how long do eggs last outside of the fridge? One day? Two days? Two hours? What? No, abs no way, no way that's true. Who said that? The American Egg Board? The American Egg Board's mission is to support America's egg farmers and increase demand for eggs and egg products. That's laughable. I mean, duh, if you throw out your eggs, of course that's going to increase your demand for eggs. There's absolutely no way this can be true. So let's validate this, and this time, it doesn't require a refrigerator. By the way, if you like this type of content, please leave a comment below, push that like button, or even subscribe because it doesn't seem like much, but it really helps me develop this channel and allows me to bring you more content that is hopefully entertaining and informative. So I took a dozen eggs, I left them out in the counter. My goal was to cook up one egg every day to see how many days it takes for these eggs to go bad so I number them 1 to 12 in the hopes to show you that these are the eggs that I'm using. I wish I had a dedicated time-lapse camera that I could just leave for 12 days, but I don't. Um, I was thinking of using newspapers to show the date of each day, as kidnappers would do, but I don't even know where to buy newspapers anymore. In the intro, when I shot my time-lapse, it was so painful because I had to use my iPhone because it's my only camera that I have. And being away from my phone for half a day or a little over half a day, yeah, it was tough. And if you're wondering how I'm going to be able to tell if these eggs go bad, well, as always, I'm going to be using my eyes, I'm going to be using my nose, and I'm also going to be using my ability to taste. And if I actually get sick, I guess that is further validation whether or not it is gone bad. All right, here we go. Day one. This is me smelling it. No foul smell. Okay, let's cook it up. Wow, why is this completely breaking apart? What in the world? There's an eggshell, two eggshells, three, four. Oh my gosh. So is this what happens when you leave it out in room temperature? All right, so I, it's not fully cooked, but I'll still eat it. See what happens. So let's grab a fork. No foul smell. Smells pretty good. Smells like eggs. One day old egg that was sitting on the counter. Tastes like good old egg. Ah, oh, I forgot there was a cell in there. Let's press the pause button for a second. So, the most common bacteria that eggs are associated with is salmonella. And if you don't know, salmonella is odorless, it's tasteless, and it's definitely colorless, as in you can't tell or you can't see if a food has gone bad or if a food actually has salmonella. So my ability to assess this experiment is actually faulty. But the show must go on. <laughs> So the verdict for day two is pretty much the same as day one. Um, it smells pretty good, it tastes pretty good, not knowing that um, taste and smell is not going to be any indicator for salmonella, but it still tasted so good that I decided to make a tomato, egg, cheese, and mayo sandwich, and 
That was also outstanding. On day three, I was actually feeling a little off. So um, instead of me eating it, I just kind of left it to cool and see what that does. And this is me just ripping it up to assess, you know, what the egg looks like and what the egg smells like. On day four, I decided to whisk it to ensure that the egg cooks completely evenly because I noticed that on day three, even when the egg was left on the stove for a very long time, you notice that the yolk was still a little bit soft and I just wanted to ensure that that doesn't happen, especially because I'm on day four now and I am slightly concerned about my health. But on day five, funny story. I um, started to feel a bit weird. Um, I was dizzy, I was a little nauseous, I was actually feeling very weak. I, I spent the whole day in bed and I was thinking about my choices in life and then shortly after, I decided to go to the emergency. So I'm at the hospital and um, they've taken several samples of my blood to test for various different cultures and viruses. I'm now waiting to get an x-ray and because of my age, also an ECG. So here's what happened. Um, the symptoms that I had, the nausea, the dizziness, the weakness, um, because I didn't have vomiting or diarrhea, I was thinking maybe I have botulism. But the blood tests and the various other tests, it ruled out um, any form of foodborne illness and the doctor suggested that I most likely have um, some sort of a virus. So I had a cold. So that hospital visit was over two weeks ago, which is enough of an incubation period to tell me that, you know, I would have been sick if I did get affected by those eggs, and I didn't. So there you have it. You can eat eggs that have been left out on the counter for more than two hours. Um, Mine specifically was over four days. Now, I know I didn't take the experiment to uh, the full 12 day period, but I think that's okay. I think you get the point in terms of it's totally okay to eat eggs that have been left out on the counter for over two hours, as long as you're using common sense. Now, I should mention that let's say I ran that experiment a hundred times over. I don't think every single time the results would be exactly the same. I think sometimes maybe the eggs would go bad after three days or after six days or even after, after 12 days because there's so many things to consider like the moisture level in the air, the air temperature itself, and how clean or the hygiene of the environment itself. I think there's a lot of things that play a factor into how things spoil or the rate at which things spoil. But my point is your eggs are most likely fine if you leave them out on the counter in room temperature for over two hours. My gosh, I mean, who's making you throw out all these good eggs? Well, the Eggs Farmers Coalition, of course. By the way, did you know that if you buy unwashed eggs, you can keep them on your counter for many weeks at a time, like these? And if you store the eggs pointy side down, they stay fresher for longer. This is what I learned from the farmer. But when they wash them, they take the protective coating off of the egg right. that protects them. When they do that, the air, there's little pores that the air, the egg can breathe through. Okay. So the, it can breathe. Those ones they can't breathe because once they've washed them, they've sealed those holes. Yeah. Okay, that's why. Those will not hatch. Even if they were fertile, they won't hatch because the, the, the egg is dead inside. It okay. can't breathe. Okay. These ones can breathe. If these were fertile, they could hatch. So if you get your eggs, look at this. Look at this beautiful egg. So irregular. There's lots of bumps because the coating is still on there. Amazing. Yeah, these eggs have a slight bit of a funky smell to it because they have not been washed. But this is what makes them fresher longer and makes, makes them um, more nutritious or maintain their nutrition for a longer period of time. I think the point here is that using common sense is really key. Whether it's for ground beef or pork or chicken, you don't always have to rely on government regulations or safety guidelines or what the label tells you. Because some of these misleading facts could be presented so it benefits others and not you. 
from reading the comments, many of you already know this. With eggs, if you need to make fresh mayo, for example, and you're worried about E. coli or salmonella, don't leave your eggs out on the counter. But if you do, forget and leave your eggs out on the counter, just make sure they're cooked thoroughly. Eggs that are less fresh, I think they're perfect for baking cakes or muffins. I think most cakes or muffins, they're cooked at 350 degrees in the oven. Eggs obviously only need about 170 degrees for it to be fully cooked. So as long as you're making sure that your muffins or the contents within the muffins are fully cooked up to 170 degrees, but most likely 350 because that's what your cooking temperature is, you're most likely fine. So just use common sense. That's your best bet. See you next time. So tell, tell me, I don't understand, why do they force the farmers to wash their eggs? I don't know, because it's one of the few countries that do.